Rivian's R1T pickup truck and R1S sport utility vehicle have only been with us for a few years, but the electric vehicle brand saw fit to give them some significant upgrades. To spot visual changes, you will have to be a Rivian superfan, but there is a lot happening beneath the surface. There is a new infotainment system, updated driver assist technology, a new tri-motor powertrain option, and a big power boost for the quad motor variant. The electric vehicle Upstart now sells two 1,000 plus horsepower vehicles. The quad motor powertrain gets a bump from 835 horsepower to 1,025 horsepower. When using launch control, torque output peaks at 1,198 pound-feet, and Rivian claims a 2.5 second zero to 60 miles per hour run for the R1T. The tri-motor powertrain pairs two rear motors with a single front motor for 850 horsepower and 1,013 pound-feet of torque, which one imagines is more than sufficient. The dual-motor powertrain remains unchanged. Batteries are also revised. Some construction changes to the large and max packs help save a bit of weight while the standard pack uses a new cell chemistry. Range for the max pack rises from 410 miles in the R1T to 420 miles, though some of this is also due to a new heat pump design. The underlying electrical architecture for the R1 models is also revised to cut down on wiring and the number of electronic control units used. Rivian also tweaked the suspension on the R1S, which was criticized for being a bit too firm and sporty. It gets new springs, dampers, and a recalibration for its hydraulic roll control system. There are also new wheel designs for both models with new tires to complement, including ultra-high performance Michelins for the quad motor cars. Both the R1S and R1T get Rivian's new autonomy platform standard, which features upgraded driver assist software and hardware, including 11 cameras and 5 radars. There is also an optional Rivian Autonomy Platform Plus, which will add automatic lane change functionality through a future software update. Despite all the new equipment, the base price for the R1T remains unchanged at $69,900, while the R1S rises to $75,900. Crucially, that means entry-level models come in under the $80,000 threshold for tax credits of new electric vehicle purchases, though both the R1T and R1S are only eligible for a $3,750 credit. The new tri-motor models start at $99,900 for the R1T and $105,900 for the R1S, which is a couple thousand dollars more than the outgoing quad motors, but these both get the larger max battery standard. Pricing for the quad motor has yet to be released. Deliveries for the updated R1S begin tomorrow with a date for the R1T yet unspecified. We are still waiting on the rumored R1X.